we're at the Royal Institution where Michael Faraday used to give lectures and in the very lecture theatre and in a few minutes Brady and I are going to give a lecture. It's the first time that two people have given one of these posh Friday evening lectures at the same time, a double act. So it's quite an experiment. But before we start, there's something I really want to show you because I think you'll be interested. In my pocket, I've got this. And this is a real Nobel Prize medal. It's a real Nobel Prize medal made of gold. It's the medal that was won by my colleague at the Royal Society, Sir Paul Nurse, the president, and I borrowed it for this lecture. I think Brady was hoping that I'd be mugged on the way so that he could have a good story. Scientist loses Nobel Prize. So don't broadcast this till we get back. The question that I think you'll all be wanting to know is how much does it weigh? What is the gold worth? And so just to answer your question, I brought a balance and that's also in my pocket. It's quite a nice little balance. So here goes, weighing a Nobel Prize. And you can see, I can't read it from here, but it's about 173 grams. Now that's quite a lot of gold and I don't know how pure it is. It may be 22 carats, which is 11 means that it's 22 twenty-fourths made out of pure gold. It might be cheaper, it might be 18 or 9 carat gold, but you can work it out for yourself how much it might be worth. Actually, but don't tell anybody, this is lighter than the gold medal that I won two years ago from the Royal Society. So my gold medal's bigger than his. Was it hard to convince Sir Paul Nurse to lend you his Nobel Prize? No, I had no difficulty. I was really surprised. And so he was very happy for me to borrow it. And it'd be quite interesting to see how the audience reacts and what they think of the Nobel Prize. And I should show you the other side as well. It's rather nice. And um, it has a very nice red leather case but I haven't brought that because it doesn't fit in my pocket. But I hope you are interested because you may not see one again. 